Fires with the Ooze in the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Um, today we'll be using some new stuff. To start, the shave soap and uh, aftershave will be the PAA King Art Emporium that was made for Matt Pasarsik over at the Raven Emporium. And um, as you can tell, it's got Matt Pasarsik right there with a uh, comedic mustache just for fun. And if you look at the label, it's very reminiscent to the old Gillette Blades. Um, the little paper labels, a little bit different coloring, but it's really cool. You got, you know, all the little different nuances that the blade wrapper had, had some pending and, and all that stuff. It's really cool. They call it King R Emporium, like, you know, King, King C. Gillette, but King and then Razor Emporium. Cool little, um, tribute to them. And this was the same PAA CK1 base. Um, same price, their new price is $15.95 for the 4 ounce CK1. Still a really good deal, performs really well. The scent on this I'll put right here on the screen. Um, it's basically an homage to um, to the old Gillette soap scent. And it's really nice. It's um, just under medium, I think. But it, it's still strong enough for me to enjoy it right now, like in here. And I've got a nice lather. On my face, I've got an ice cube that I had sit until um, I was done lathering. And then I put some star jelly pre-shave, which I don't use as often because the methylation in it is so strong that it can kind of overpower some lighter scented soap. Um, but this is a star jelly pre-shave. Now they have a star jelly after shave which has alcohol in it and it's not a pre-shave. Um, but it's really nice on your face too when you use it. But as you can tell, no problems lathering this. I use my um, AKA 345 Rumpkin brush that I put a um, V something. I can't keep up, I forget. Cause I've got different variations of the knot now. I think it's a V 13 or 14. Um, Venturian, which is my favorite badger knot. Probably my favorite knot of all time, if I, if I could pick only one. Um, <clears throat> but the scent notes, very nice, classic, it's classic Gillette um, that they did an homage to because Matt Pasarsic, you know, is, is huge on that um, with his razor emporium business doing Gillette razor tune ups and everything. Um, but the razor is the Blackland Dark with a second use Schick, the new Schick, not the um, vintage Schick blades. And I was going to use the Carve, but um, Scott and um, Christian wanted me to use the Dart. So I said, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The Dart is a very efficient Razor. It really reminds me of the Rex Ambassador on like setting five or six. It's very smooth. You need a light touch. This is my third one of these that I've owned. So I bought one before, I bought one brand new before they stopped producing them. Because you can't buy these anymore, unfortunately. And I would get good shaves with it, but then I would get a ton of irritation. Not necessarily nicks, but like ingrown hairs and irritation. Um, so I sold it. And then, um, and then I got a second one 
because I wanted to try it again. And um, same same results, man. Same results. And recently I had an Asylum V2 that is an AC razor that didn't really work out for me. And a friend of mine, Raul, has or had this dart. So, um, and he was interested in the asylum. So I figured we would just do the trick. And I'll tell you what, my technique must have changed and gotten better because this razor has been flawless for me. It, I think it's hard. I go back and forth on what's my number two spot. Either my Yates EH or this. Because this is, this is fantastic, as uh, Arnold would say. So can you believe how much I am in heaven? Would say. Um, very smooth. Aggressive. Yeah, it's like a five or a six on the Rex Ambassador. Which y'all know I can, you know, I, I typically use a five or a six on that razor. And it's doable to daily this. If you can, ha if your skin can tolerate it without irritation. It's more efficient than R41 by a lot. And I've used, as you guys know, a lot of razors, especially modern and high efficiency razors. I don't think anything touches this or the Rex Ambassador regarding efficiency. I've got the Sterling Razor. Um, I've had the HA, but I currently only have the SP plate. I have a charcoal, charcoal Goods Level 3 uh, Gen 3, so it's less efficient than the old Level 3. Um, I've got an R41 Twist. And I've got, I've got a lot of it. i got a Blackbird. I've had several Blackbirds. Um, Mature Future. Um, and nothing touches the Rex Ambassador or the Dart, in my opinion, on efficiency. And I've had razors like the Flat Boy, which is basically a Chevette or Chevette. In the DE platform with a handle, basically, a regular DE style handle. Um, most people would be done here. Um, I could be done here and be fine. I'm I'm basically DFS or damn fine shave. Um, I'm close to BBS with some spots that could use just touch ups. But I, I generally always do a three pass shave unless, um, for some reason something comes up like if I'm on call like I am right now, and I get activated, I can stop right here and be fine. Um, or if I'm not feeling well for some reason, you know, and I'm just exhausted, I'll get my shave in, but just do what I need to. And this scent is really nice. It gets stronger. It hits right at medium once it's lathered. Um, and they have the CK6 version of this too, but I tend to get the CK1, the cocoa butter formula. Oops, don't need to shave that in my eyeball. Um, I typically get the CK1 when it's available just because it's $10 cheaper and 
they both perform really well for me. Instead of toe shave, I use typically with Hazel. Um, and then if I have um, a matching star jelly or something close, like Sacro Blue that John Patton from 345 gave me in a large um, assortment of Sacro Blue um, set, which is like soap, aftershave, solid, ED, or solid cologne, EDP, star jelly, beard oil, conditioner. It was crazy. But um, so I'll use the star jelly. And then I'll use the CAD for Catterday, the CAD EDP, because this razor, um, this King Arm Forium soap and aftershave doesn't have a matching EDP or anything else. It just does, they just made the soap and the aftershave. Blade's doing really well. So Kier, I think that's how you say his name, from the Double Edge Shaving Den on Facebook, got a lot of these new shit from um, the razor company. And was able to send out tucks to, I forget how many people, I think 10 people or so. Um, and I was one of them. Because they do a lot of giveaways on that page. And um, and these are Jonathan's favorite blades. And I can see why. They're very nice. The first one I used, I used it in a charcoal goods level 3. And it was my first go with that blade, um, brand new blade, first first one, and it was kind of rough. But then after that, I used that same blade in a different razor, but it was second use, so you know maybe it's broken in, and it was a lot better. This blade was good from the get go, so I have to try next time I open up a new one of these blades. I'll put it back in the charcoal goods level three and see if it's just a blade razor combo or if that blade just needs to be broken in. Who knows? This is not a razor you really want to do a lot of buffing with. And you don't need to. I just do it out of trying to get as perfect of a BBS as I can. Which I'm, I mean, I'm already there. I'm being dumb at this point. Very efficient razor. Um, I polished this one. It was the machine finish but I polished it. It came out really nice. It's got soap film on it right now but um, very nice razor. I wish they kept producing it but I understand if it's too efficient for most people and they had complaints and stuff you're probably not going to keep producing it. Um, I'm going to rinse off. I'll be back with the post. Hi guys. I'm back and after the shave I rinse off with warm water then cold water and then I use the Phoenix shaving Allen block with the dry dock system, <clears throat> no stinging whatsoever, very smooth shave. And then I cleaned everything off my, uh, my brush and, and soap and everything. And then I used the witch hazel that I got. I got it from Walmart, it's cheap. Um, just non-scented, straight up witch hazel. <clears throat> and this will last me for a while. I mean, it's a big 16 ounce bottle. And then um, we're gonna finish off with the matching King R Emporium aftershave. Sense strength is stronger on the aftershave, for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll see. I don't know if it has any menthol cooling or anything. I didn't look at the ingredients. Oh, that's nice. Some of the scent notes 
some other scent notes that are in the profile come out in the aftershave that I don't get necessarily in the soap. Ooh, that's nice. I really wish they had the full line of this. It's reminiscent. I mean, it's old school, so it's it's very similar to all these Sacre Blues and Tad and Diver Down, but it's different. It's still very different to me. Um, so yes, this is completely different than all the other ones. It's reminiscent because it's classic. It's got that kind of classic, not necessarily musky, um, beautiful scent. Very nice, very nice. I, I really enjoy this a lot. I'm glad I got it. Um, so let's recap. Um, actually, before I do that, I'll put on some of the Star Jelly. Sacre Blue Star Jelly. Um, just because I like the moisturizing effect and it matches real, it, it's good. It's, it's a nice classic scent that works well with this. It's not the same. So if you don't like Sacred Blue, it's it's not the same. It just for my nose, those classic scents, Tad, Sacred Blue, Diver Down, um, they all for me they all work really well together. But they may not for you. Um, but if you don't like Sacred Blue, it's not the same as King Art Emporium. So don't let that um, deter you from trying it. But I just put on this the star jelly just for the moisturizing effect and um and i like the scent but off camera i'll be using tad just to have a longer um scent stay on me throughout the day um, but now we can recap the shave soap and aftershave was the king r emporium made for matt pasarsic at the razor company which if you use blooms 10 um, you can get discount, you can get 10% discount, not on PAA stuff, but on anything else, I think, not on PAA or tits. Um, you should be able to get 10% off, I believe it even applies to the console now. Um, so try it out, let me know in the comments if it works, um, or if you've used it, because I've used it, so I know it works on most things. Um, this is the shave, soap and aftershave, and then the brush was the aka brushworks rumpkin that they did for 345 with a v13 i think centurion which is fantastic the razor was a black and dart which is excellent with a second use uh shook that i got from here at the uh, double x shave gun and then um post shave after the witch hazel and everything sacra blue star jelly and then off camera, like I said earlier, will be the CAD EDP, just beautiful barbershop scent. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share, all the things. We're trying to get more subscribers. Um, we'll be doing a giveaway soon. I think Scott's at 450. We'll see what he has in store for that. Um, but in the meantime, thank you and see you next time.